What else is starting soon? Just shuffling or breaking, clearing the deck. We're gonna get started soon for Aquarius. Hopefully, you all can hear me well. Okay. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or wherever it is in your uh, natal chart. This can also be, um, you know, cross watches. You can do that too. spirits my ancestors my guides into this space your spirits your ancestors your guides into this space to clear out any uh, negative harmful unwanted energies entities banish them clear the space and fill it with i'm gonna say love and balance balance wholeness light and dark the dark isn't always you know bad Okay, and I'll call down the coordinates of the north, the east, the south, and the west to enclose this circle. Okay. All right, my Aquarius, this is your reading. This is for you. This is a timeless message. Okay, so whenever it catches you, it is for you. All right. Okay, that was quick. We have the tower in reverse. This one. It's funny because I was playing with this card. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. I was like, it's something. I thought it was something wrong with that card. And then the Magician. Interesting. Okay, so with the tower in reverse here, there's something that uh, we're delaying or, and I'm saying we're because I'm an Aquarius sun. <laughs> so uh, something that's being delayed, something that you see isn't good for you or isn't right yet, you're just like, okay, I, I just don't wanna deal with this right now, all right? Or I do feel like, however, whatever um, chaos is, you know, at your foresight like you can see it coming i really do feel like you can bypass this aquarius with the knight of pentacles um here it's just a matter of time i, I think this is also a sign to take your time not to rush things this could be uh definitely in business pentacles is all about career money but this is more about your stability as well we have the tower which can be about stability but you know within tarot it usually is breaking down right this is mars energy so taking action it might be too force right now so it's time to slow things down be intentional be intentional with your word be intentional you might need to research more take notes okay study action doesn't always have to be um forceful right it can be action could be resting action can be uh studying sharpening your skills okay there might be something uh if you take your time to learn or research you can definitely bypass some of this, um, I would say instability, instability, okay? 
And with there being instability here, we have the magician. Okay? The magician here. So this is transmutation of energy. Okay? This is you. You are the magician. So it's, I do feel a magician energy is like Aries. So I feel like, yes, it's time to sharpen your skills, study. This could be trial and error, right? Creating a hypothesis and testing it. All right? And then, put, yeah, and putting it to work. Yeah, again, yeah, it might be trial and error, but you're sharpening your skills. You're um, sharpening your craft, right? Uh, and then also, I said this is more like business, but it's stability. So this could, if you um, I was like, if you want, but it's relationships too, right? So whatever um, energy that could be unstable, uh, and within a relationship, it could be romantic, it could be business for sure, any type of relationship that is uh, unstable and you see it down the pipeline. You all may need to take time to to sit there. May you all may need to, you know, research some stuff or have have talks or journal about it. Write your feelings out, okay? This will help in the transmutation of that negative energy okay okay yes i will um i was my intention was to go down because i did capricorn yesterday and then i was trying to go down and what i'm going to do is um do this live come off and then do it so that way i can attract more of that sign so i'll definitely do leo next since you made the request I'll do it. <laughs> you just have to, when I come off of here, I'll, I'll put, I'll change the Aquarius to Leo. And then we'll you just hop back on. So Aquarius, Leo energy is your sister sign. So our sister in here, like, yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs> so, okay. Let's, let's get some additional messages here. Aquarius. It's the tea leaf oracle. Okay, happiness, happiness. This is fifth house, which is Leo. Come on, Leo. <laughs> this is, what's your uh, name here, Amelie? Yes. <laughs> so this is all about uh, happiness, romance too, right? Love. Um, then we have Beryl. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals, right? So you see how all of this is tying in um, with the instability, right? Yeah. Then we have well. So let me, hold on. We got happiness, right? Fifth house. We have barrel, something you, you feel is lacking. Love, money, goals, right? That's why I said it's instable. So you have to study up, take your time, be intentional, right? Mm -hmm. Work on your craft, work on your magic, do, you know, getting, if you do uh, spell work, root work, however you want to say it, alchemy, right? It's time to get in that bag. You might need to research some more before you get into that so you can transmute the energy or you can just, your awareness, right? But we have the whale. Great worry over nothing. Great worry over nothing. Okay, this is giving me, even though I'm hearing the whale sounds, I'm also getting like Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh, right? So, this could be, why would you want to wallow in this, right? Because you can get stuck if you if you want to, right? This is where you need to be aware so you can transmute the energy that you're feeling, all right? Then we have fire, strong emotion, passionate love, or hate. So... This could be, um, I don't like talking about they, but this could be people, you know, um, putting that emotion onto you and you're feeling that, right? Um, especially for my empaths, you could, this might be stirred up in you because you know that something is unstable and maybe you feel like you can't really talk to that person like you like you really want to so things are heating up for you so uh, i did say mars energy so 
yeah, make sure you take a step back, okay? Strong emotion. How can you t transmute that energy, right? Turning pain into profit. Turning lessons into blessings, okay? How can you do that? That's true alchemy. Transmutation, right? So, instead of wallowing in what was unstable or what you feel like you can't control, focus on something that you can control. And so that way you can attract what you want. So you won't feel barren and focus on your happiness. Okay? Focus on your joy. This is happiness. Fifth house energy is also creation. Okay? What are you wanting to create? Stop worrying about what other people want, what, you know, how you want to be perceived. Just be you. Be you, Aquarius. And it's wild because I know that's <laughs> that's your sign. That's what it's all about, being you, being unique. But with the sun sign, right, with the sun sign of Aquarius or wherever your placements are, right, whoever's watching this, um, usually if it's the sun sign, that's what you need to work on, being, being you. That's what you're discovering in this lifetime, okay? So... Yes. Let's do some clarification, um, Aquarius. I'm looking at the psychic tarot to dive into. Hey, everybody. Thank you all for the likes uh, up in here. I do see you all's request. Um, I, am, I am going to do the Aquarius. Leo is up next. I think I seen Cancer. Okay, no personals, you know, at this time. Uh, I'm cranking these out, trying to get the messages out. If you want a um, personal, though, you can go on my website, msbotanica.com. Okay, all right. So, um, yeah, so after I finish the Aquarius, I will come off of the live, put Leo's, and then come back on. It should be seamless. I am at, at uh, Rocio Spiritual Botanica uh, doing uh, readings for walk-ins at this time, too. So, if people come in, you know, I'm just working with the time that I have. Okay. All right, working with the time that I have. All right, Aquarius. We're going to continue. We have to do just a little, uh, little uh, break, commercial break. <laughs> We're going to get some clarification here, Aquarius. Shadow in reverse. Mm -hmm. I heard take. Okay. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Wands upright. With the destiny. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Shadow in reverse. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, um, this is the the moon in reverse, I believe. Yep. With this deck, it's a little. Uh, when I first got this deck, I always thought that this was the hermit, <laughs> and it clearly says eighteen. So I think that's the the moon. Yep, eighteen. So one, but it says shadow. Let's go there, Aquarius. So, shadow energy. So, you may not be willing to accept what's going on around you, right? As far as uh, within your relationships or partnerships, right? Again, this can be romantic, business, friendships. This could cause you to go into isolation, hermit energy. That's what I think about when I see this card, too. It may force you into isolation to go within, right? What are you not willing to see, right? What are you not willing to see, Aquarius? I really do feel like it's your worth, your value. I feel like you're too hard on yourself, okay? You might be overcompensating, overdoing, trying to prove yourself to others, have your hands in so many pots so that way you can see what, uh, what grows, right? We got the Ace of Wands. Passion is here. Love is here. Creation is here. 
but it starts inside of you. The magic is within. The magic is within. within. That's why the message here is take your time. Take your time. So if this is relationships, if this is relationships, um, if someone's in your in your energy, take your time. There's no need to rush. No need to rush. If this is a business decision, make sure you take your time. No need to rush. If you are going within because you triggered, right? Go within. Feel. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay? And when I say nothing's wrong with you, because when we get into the shadow, when we get into the field, we start to blame and shame, you know, and feel all these lower vibrations. It's, when I say it's nothing wrong with you, it's meaning that embrace who you are. Embrace the shadow, Aquarius. Find wholeness within. Okay? Okay? We're going to talk about the destiny card. The destiny here is... The destiny here, especially with creation. If you are a business owner, if you want to, um, if you're wanting to just create, get into your hobbies, do it. Do it. Um, I would say still monetary success is here. Um, even though the Ace of Pentacles is here in reverse, that's only meaning waking up to who you are and your worth and your value. Okay? I'm going to pull... Oh, that stop sign is on the tab. I love it. That is so helpful. I'm going to do a couple of more cards, Aquarius. And then we're going to close out. Okay? Yeah. It's your value. It's the trapped in fear. Yes, it's in reverse. And I could take it as you're freeing yourself. And this could be for some. Maybe this is past energy and you're waking up from this. If so, great good for you if it's um if you're still in this energy whenever you catch this this is saying that just uh, just i'm hearing just around the river band pocahontas <laughs> so keep going i feel like nurture and with the river here nurture yourself nurture your wounds nurture what um the creation that's inside of you again study research sharpen your skills all will be well I will be well. Okay? All right, Aquarius. Let me know how y'all feel. Once you see this, like, share, comment. I love to I love to see it. I love to hear about it. All right. All right, spirit. They said love. Love. So I'm gonna pull from the lovers uh lovers oracle. Thank you all for the comments and the gifts. I really do appreciate y'all. All right. We're going to get into... Okay, I'm hearing this could be the final message. So, I'll pull from this one instead. Okay. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Okay? So, when it comes to friendships, whatever partnerships, right? But you know it's leaning towards romance, right? Focus on your friendship. That's why I said take your time. Let things brew. Great worry over nothing, right? Right? This could be for my anxious attachment uh, people, okay? This is where you need to work on pouring back into yourself and knowing your worth and not needing to always be seen or heard or overcompensate to make sure people stay with you. You're lovable. You're lovable just the way you are. So be you and watch how the person or whoever romance business everything you will attract okay this is working on your attraction energy okay aquarius all right i hope that you all enjoyed again like comment subscribe to my youtube channel mystic storm 
Um, I am doing a free giveaway uh, for a reading once I hit 500 subscribers on there. So make sure you check me out. All right, and then I'll hop off here and I will do Leo, okay? I see you, Wolf.